Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a curve through reference points. In my graphic area, I've got a 3D sketch. Let's go to Insert, scroll down to Curve, and select Curve Through Reference Points. Notice that we're in the part editing environment. We are not in the sketch environment. So what does that mean? Well, the Curve Through Reference Point tool is not a sketch tool. Why would we need such a tool in the first place? There's many reasons. One scenario would be, for example, if you're modeling wires that have to go through reference points. In this case, the Curve Through Reference Points tool is really, really convenient. Okay, let's get busy. We'll select each of the points we want to include in the curve. Check this box here to close the curve, and let's click OK. Curve 1 is now a node in our tree that we can easily edit. Here's the list of points we'd selected. Let's uncheck Closed Curve. If we want to remove any points, right-click and delete them. You can also right-click and clear selections. Let's accept for now. Now let's insert some reference geometry. I'll insert a plane via this point and this curve. Oops, I selected the line instead of the curve. Here we go. And accept. Now let's right click and insert a sketch on our new plane. Bring up the circle command. Let's apply dimensions now with the smart dimension tool. Make it 5 millimeters in diameter. Click OK. And we'll exit the sketch. Zoom to fit. Now let's hide our plane. Right click and hide. Let's activate the swept surface command now. Select our profile and the path. And click accept. And that's all folks. This concludes our video about creating a curve through reference points. Thanks for choosing VTN's course on surface design and modeling.